Hey everyone, this is Dombey Blue, and I uh, hope you like the intro, I made it a minute ago, it's not like serious, you know, I was just kind of messing around, but if you think it's alright, I'll use it in future videos. Basically, we were playing a hotel search and destroy, and um, Rando decided if he could, uh, you know, decide to try it, if he can kill himself. Turns out he can, so uh, let's go on with the gameplay. This is a Domination 6v6 on WMD, while I'm using the AK-47 Gold, and I'm going to go 61 and 0, that's right, I'm not going to die, aka Flawless, aka Sandy Ravage style, not really. <laughs> Basically, the most of the game I'm going to be trying to stay out of people's way and not getting high traffic areas too much. Uh, the the uh, kill streaks I'm using are the Blackbird shotgun and the Gunship, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay, it, it sort of speaks for itself. Uh, these kids weren't very good, and you'll see in certain situations that you know I'm just still shitting on them when I'm using an M14, and I think and an L96 at some point I start cruising them up, but uh, you'll see that later on in the game. I want to talk about my recent giveaway video and and thank everyone that subbed, and I'd like to ask you to stay subscribed because I did the giveaway or you know to help someone out, but also it's hard, it's so hard to get your channel noticed that I done it you know for publicity basically and you know to try and grow my channel and get my channel out there and, you know that's why I was uh, posting comments on on videos that's why you may have seen my uh, my channel but basically I ask you to stay subscribed even once the uh, video the uh, giveaway video is finished because I, I do aim to bring you good content and if you look at my other videos I like to think that I've done that but it's just uh, you know I, it's so hard to get noticed but anyway I'll, I'll move on from the giveaway if you want if you haven't seen that uh, I'll put a link in the description, as long as a lot, uh, along with Random Only and Five's channel, who was who helped me with that intro. Well, uh, you know, he was in it. He was the one who died. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I put, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but um, by we spawned at C, and I put a claim war in the building next to it, and uh, it just got a free kill for me. And then this is where I start grizzling up with the 96. My kill streaks are the Blackbird, the Chopgunner, and the Gunship. I normally use the dogs, as I'm sure regular viewers know. But I was uh, on a bit of a good run. Uh, oh wait, and here's the M14. I was on a bit of a good run using the uh, gunship, and and I get it just there. And uh, it was working out really well for me. And the next video I'll bring you is the exact game after this one. And I'll, 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 I shouldn't really ruin the score, but I go 57 and one after going 61 and 0. So these kids weren't amazing. I'm not trying to make out that these were all Wings of Redemption or whatever and MOG pros, but you know it's. 50, uh, you know, it's still a nice game, 61 though. So, you know, you're in the gunship and they just spawn at sea, which is good. Now, the main areas you should hold down and you should stay away from the catwalk because the catwalk is not a good place to be, okay? But there's a, a middle ridge just above B Dom and there's a stair, there's a ladder just near it as well. But it's also the C building, um, looking over B, you can also get onto it from there. It's, we call that middle ridge and that's a really nice place to sit because there's a nice. There are two uh, wooden wooden fences, I'll say fences, barriers, that you can use to your advantage as well. But don't stay up there for too long because noob tubes and grenades can easily get you down from there. The other place is where I just was just then when I was in my chopper gunner, is that building. Now, uh, it's right next to B and it can also uh, cover A. It has very good lines of sight. A third place is behind the ore tanker I just went past. It also has a very good line of sight on A and B. It's very good if you're trying to uh, actually win the game, uh, which you should always be trying to win. But if it's a competitive match and uh, and you need to defend them two flags. The third place is Building 3, which uh, I don't normally call it Building 3, but it was just the numbers on the wall in front of me. And uh, you can sit in there. It's right next to Middle Ridge, but you can defend C from there and you can see Middle Building. Uh, it, it is alright. You can hold down the Middle Building, which is uh, in the middle of the map, funnily enough. That's why, that's why we call it Middle Building. But it's a it's a high traffic area and it's very dangerous and as you only get one claymore or one motion sensor you can't cover both doorways with your equipment and that makes it very hard to stay alive in there. So if you're aiming for a, a high kill, low death game, I'd avoid that building. Uh, towards the end of the game I start doing laps of the uh, map. Now laps of the map are re is a really good way of uh, getting your kills and trying not to get shot in the back while you're triple capping, which we, we are at the moment. Because uh, they're going to be spawning at A and at C at, at, with the triple cap. So you've got to keep moving around. And uh, so that that's the main tactic when you're triple capping. But if you're double capping, you want to set yourself up with your team and just try and keep them locked in. Don't push up too far because a triple cap is not really what you want. Uh, as you saw, I, I weren't the one who got the triple cap. Someone else did. So, But normally you should just be happy with the double cap. It's a lot easier to get kills that way. 
The, the ending part of the game is pretty slow. Uh, I'm not sure what score I'm at the moment. I'm probably like 15-0. So, you know, I only get in the next two minutes about 11 kills. But whatever, you know, I was being extra cautious. And this is where you shouldn't really be in the middle building. But as you can see on the top left, we have a blackbird up, which allows us to uh, move around and uh, seek out the enemy instead of them having to come to us. And uh, blackbirds are the best kill streak in the game because blackbirds are the only kill streak that build other kill streaks. Now, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, that blackbird that just went up got replaced by a second blackbird. And our motto is that blackbirds build blackbirds. So, you know, if you have two or three people on your team using blackbirds, if one person can get it, chances are, if, if you're any good, then your next friend or uh, the next person you're going to play with on your team is going to get that blackbird. And their team is pretty much done. So, uh... Yeah, guys, that's basically all I want to talk about with the gameplay. I just want to uh, thank you all once again for all subscribing to me. At this moment, I have just over 450 subscribers. It means a lot. And, uh, well, yeah, guys, um, hope you liked the intro. Write a comment if you did like it. It was a bit of a jokes one. It weren't like all mega serious, make it in After Effects, whatever you do. But if you do want to make an intro, PM me. And, uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't really want an intro. Actually, no. Maybe I do. Hmm. It's gotta be cool. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want it to be blue. Because my name's Dombey Blue. Because that's why I made the text on the intro blue for. I'm just ranting on here. There's only 20 seconds left. I'll let you watch the rest of the gameplay in peace. See that, guys.